Hey, this is Commander Bacon with His Way Homestead, and we've got a project to do, so stay tuned and find out. All right, so um, we found out that we had a need this winter. Um, I'm in the bathroom of the building, okay? Um, when we need to fill up waterers outside the bowls when it's cold and freezing we can't use automatic waterers the only place we can fill up like a gallon jug is in the kitchen so that's inconvenient when you have to go from the house to where the animals are so let me show you i'll turn this around it's kind of a mess so it's just my shop bathroom don't judge all right so here's the sink and you can see there's it's it's messy. It needs to be cleaned really good. It's hard to keep this clean, um, but it's a standard faucet and it just will not get the job done. So let me show you what we're going to replace it with. We're going to replace it with this bad boy. So you can see you can easily get a gallon jug underneath that. Let me hold it up here. Bear with me. Sorry. So you can see it'll fit the holes, right? So that's our project. We're gonna swap out that faucet for this faucet. But one thing I found, and I'll show you, I've got the hot water and the cold water shut off underneath the sink. But you can see the cold water shut off is not shutting off. And it's really hard to, to close it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to replace that. So here's the shut off. So I have to um, take that apart. I got to go shut the water off at the well house. I'm going to take this off. There must be cobwebs in there. <laughs> I'm going to shut shut off the well water. And uh, then we'll come in and take that off. Then we'll go into Lowe's, get the replacement part, and then we'll swap out the faucet. So it's a nice little project. It won't take long. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. Stay tuned. All right. So we're going to try to get under here. See if I can get this guy unhooked without making too much of a mess. It's kind of tight. Well, tell you what, maybe we won't replace that because it doesn't seem to want to be replaced. So it's really hard to see. Let's see if I can, whoop, sorry. See if I can bring you in here. Let's see. There's the hose connections up there. So you gotta take these water lines off. This, there's a lot of cobwebs. This is the cold water line and next to it is a hot water line. So you unhook those and then you take off this, this nut here and then the whole thing should just slide right up. So that's what I'm going to do. You really can't see anything, so there's no point in recording it. So stay tuned. All right, so if you're working under a sink and you're replacing faucets like that, you, need, you really need to have this tool here. This allows you to reach up in there. You flip it one way, 
and this allows it to tighten. <laughs> you flip it the other way and it allows you to loosen it. So pretty cool tool. Uh, it makes working in tight places a whole lot simpler. Okay, so now we got uh, the nuts off of the faucet itself. Should just be a matter of lifting it up and taking it out. Of course, it's got oh, the little. <laughs> Forgot one thing. There's a little lever there for the for the stopper, and it's got a little thumb screw on it. And I gotta take that off. And of course, it's really tight. Let me go get the right tool. Alright, so now I got the the little stopper thing off, so that was this guy. Just gonna clean some of this off here. Let me go get something to clean that off with. We don't need all that junk. Alright, so I cleaned all that off the best I could. Now we're gonna place the new faucet. So this, you'll notice this doesn't have one of those levers to raise and lower the stopper. So what we're going to have to do is take that stopper clear out and just have a, a, a rubber stopper just to drop in there. Because once I, I can push it down, but I can't pull the thing back up. So that's kind of where that's at. Not ideal, but not bad either. So it comes with new new nuts to attach it to the sink. I'll be using these. And then I'm gonna go underneath and attach that. And then we'll go ahead and um, hook up the cold water and the hot water line. So stay tuned. Okay, so we got the new faucet installed. And I took the plunger out so that we can just get a stopper. And all I have to do now is go out and turn the water back on out in the well house and then turn it on underneath the sink. So stay tuned. All right, so we got the water turned on to the well house. Let's check it out. Cold water. And the hot water. Let's check it for leaks. Make sure nothing's leaking. We should be good to go. Here comes the hot water. Good hot water. Got a little air in the line. That's normal. I think that's going to work out pretty nice. We check for leaks. Nothing underneath the hot. Nothing leaking under the cold. I think we're good. All right. All right, so that wasn't too bad, swapping out a faucet, and uh, we got it done in pretty much no time. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you out. You gotta make sure, if you're replacing a faucet, make sure that distance between the faucets, the handles, is right. If that's off, because there's two different, there's a couple different sizes, and if you get that off, then it's impossible. So make sure you got the right distance between the uh, spigot, the handles, and you should be good to go. So, <sighs> job well done. Don't forget, his way is the best way. We'll see you next time. God bless.